In this video, we'll bounce the equation for C6H12O6, breaking down into CO2 and C2H5OH. What's happening here is fermentation. We have the sugar, and something like yeast would eat the sugar and break it down into carbon dioxide, and then this C2H5OH, that's ethanol. That's the alcohol, like in beer. So let's bounce the equation, count the atoms up. We have six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. On the product side, we have one carbon plus the two, so that gives us three carbons. Hydrogens, we have five plus this one right here. So we have six. And then oxygens, we have two plus the one, we have three. So you have to make sure you add up your oxygens and carbons and everything on this side accurately. So it's a little bit complicated. At first, I think maybe I could just double this to double my carbons. But remember, I have this carbon out here. So if I put a three here, that would give me six carbons, but I still have this. So I'm gonna leave the carbons alone. Let's fix the hydrogens, because I know if I double these, that should double my hydrogens, because I have all of the hydrogens here. So let's update pretty much everything here. So now I have my one carbon here, plus I have two times two, that's four. So I have five carbons. Hydrogens, I have two times the five, that gives me 10 plus two times this one over here. So that does balance the hydrogens. And then oxygens, I have two here, plus I have the one times the two. So I have four oxygens. Looks like I could put a two in front of the CO2, and that might fix the carbons and oxygens. Let's update both the carbons and oxygens now. So I have my two times the one, that's two carbons, plus two times the two, two times two is four. So that does fix the carbons. And then for the oxygens, two times two, that's four, plus two times the one, gives me two, six, and that does it. This equation is balanced. What makes this a little more difficult is you have carbons here and here, oxygens here and oxygens over here. And then they write this C2H5OH like this to show you that this OH here, that's what makes it an alcohol. So they're trying to show you the structure of the molecule, but it makes the balancing a little bit more work too. At any rate, this is the balanced equation for sugar fermenting into carbon dioxide and ethanol. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.